Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning, episode 355, back on the topic of the MLB today, talking about the Dodgers. Of course, in case you live under a rock, Trevor Bauer has signed with the LA Dodgers, which in my opinion makes them the best team in baseball, uh, and of course in the NL, but today I'm going to be looking at whether or not the Padres can give them a run for the NL. Comment below if you think there's any other teams that are worth considering. Of course, there's other teams that are worth considering, but if, if there's any other teams that you think can beat the Dodgers, I'd love to do a video on it. Uh, but today I'm going to be looking at specifically, can the Padres beat the Dodgers this year? But first, question of the day. The last time the Padres and Dodgers met was in the 2020 division round of the playoffs. What was the final score of that series? Of course, if you don't know, uh, sorry, if you do know, comment the answer below. And if you don't know, stick around to the end of the video and we will really answer there. But let's get right into this. Like I said, if you've been paying attention to sports at all over the past 24 hours, uh, Trevor Bauer, three years, $102 million going to L.A., which for me, because I'm not a Dodgers fan, scares me because this team was already so good and just got that much better. So I'm going to be looking at whether or not the Padres can give them a run for their money this year. And my short answer is yes, they can. I don't know if they will. But when you look at the two, the two rosters on paper, the starting rosters, they are very... It makes you think a little bit more because yesterday in our video, uh, yesterday we did a video on the Trevor Bauer signing, so go check that out if you haven't. But it was very easy to say that, wow, the Dodgers are, are this much ahead of everybody else in the league. But when I'm looking at these two lineups on paper right in front of me, they are they're scarily even in my opinion. So the, Do the Padres are not going to be totally outmatched, I think, even by a team in, in L.A. that is this good. So first I want to look at the pitching staffs. Dodgers, arguably best pitching staff in the league arguable by who the Padres who have almost as good a one so the Dodgers of course now this is all just kind of speculative I still think Kershaw will be the number one out of the Dodgers uh, in the Dar uh, Dodgers pitching rotation how can he not be he's an LA vet for who knows how many years he's he's the the he is the centerpiece of the Dodgers franchise and of course of their pitching staff so I got Kershaw in the one spot uh, in the rotation, of course, three-time Cy Young winner. Um, the two spot, I'm going to give to Bauer over Bueller, but that's very, very ar arguable. So I got Kershaw, Bauer. Bauer, of course, last year Cy Young. Then I got Bueller in the three spot in the rotation. Then I got David Pr uh, David Price, who was your 2012 Cy Young. And then in the five spot, I got Dustin May. So we got uh, Kershaw, Bauer, Bueller, David Price, Dustin May as the five main starting pitchers for the Dodgers. That is unreal. All the talent in those five guys that's ridiculous I mean you're talking about five of the best five of the top 20 15 20 pitchers in the in baseball all in the same all in the same roster um, price may not be around he's kind of I mean he's 35 I, I believe he's 35 he's kind of old he's kind of a liability um, I think it's possible but by the end of by the start of next season we see price uh, part ways with the Dodgers so they can free up some, some cap space some, or free up some money to do something else because I don't really think they need price. But he is pretty good, uh, and if he can stay healthy, he'll be worth having in that rotation. So the Padres, who do they have on the mound? Well, before this offseason, they had basically Chris Paddock and, and Denelson, and that's about it as far as, as uh, Lamette Denelson, as far as, uh, sorry, Denelson Lamette, I got that backwards, um, as far as starting pitchers. Um, they have since added you Darvish, Blake Snell, and Joe Musgrove from the Pittsburgh Pirates. So this Padres pitching staff went from solid to, to fantastic and, and rivaled the Dodgers, who clearly have one of the best or the best in the league. Uh, so first, the Dodgers pitcher, um, sorry, Padres pitcher. Uh, I got Blake Snell as their number one. Um, of course, your 2018 Cy Young was, was a main reason the Rays were in the World Series last year. Um, I'm, I'm upset the Rays let him go, but I, I understand that he would want out of there after what happened to him in the World Series. But I got Snell, uh, Snell as the, the ace out of the, or not out of the bullpen, the ace starting pitcher for the Padres. And then I think I'll give the number two spot to you, Darvish. He was, he was in the conversation. Well, actually, I think he was a runner-up last year for Cy Young. He had a good year last year. Uh, and then in no particular order after that, I got, like I said, Chris Paddock, who is, is very good. Very good starting pitcher, and then Musgrove from Pittsburgh, who's also good, and then uh, Denelson Lamette, who is a, a young guy that is very talented. He'd probably be the number three. L Lamette probably will be the number three, and then Musgrove and Paddock after that. Um, head to head, uh, as far as comparing aces, if I'm going to say Kershaw is still the ace for the Dodgers, and I'm going to give Snell the ace for the Padres, I think that 
I'll give that to Snell. I think Snell is the better pitcher in in the in the realm of him versus Kershaw. They're both lefties. Uh, the curveball, of course, you got to give to Kershaw. His Kershaw, his curveball is best in the league. But uh, Snell throws harder, has kind of a wider wider range of pitches. I like Snell over Kershaw. Um, but then the rest of the pen between Bauer, I don't know. I'd I might take. Lamette over Bauer, but I I probably I probably take Bauer over there, and then you got Bueller. I'm taking over Paddock and Musgrove and Darvish. I like Walker Bueller a lot, so I'm gonna have to give. And then of course Dustin May is like an is like a carbon copy of of Paddock to me. So I think they kind of cancel each other out. Then you're looking at David Price, who basically any of these starters on the Padres lineup, I'm taking over David Price. David Price is pretty old, so I think they're they're the pitching staffs are very very even. But even though I give the A spot Snell over Kershaw of the Dodgers, I'm still taking um, Bueller and, and Bauer over over any two others from the Padres pitching staff like like uh, Darvish or or uh, Denelso Lamette or or Musgrove. I'm taking uh, Bauer and Bueller of the Dodgers over that. So I think the Dodgers have a slight edge in pitching staff, even though the Padres is probably. Is the, the, the Padres pitching staff is excellent, there's no doubt, but I'm, I'm taking Dodgers over that. Um, so Dodgers have a slight edge on the mound. And then you start talking about hitting. Uh, the Dodgers lineup has an edge over everybody else in the league. Um, starting from catcher, Will Smith on the Dodgers side. Austin Nola of, of the Padres. Nola's very solid. Still taking Will Smith. Will Smith is a young guy. He's, he's shown uh, ability to produce, perform in the playoffs. So I'm taking Will Smith over Nola. Uh, Muncie at first base versus Hosmer. That I'm actually giving to the Padres. I think Hosmer is probably a top three first baseman in, in baseball, and Muncy probably be more like a top six or eight first baseman in baseball. So I'm taking first base uh, uh, Hosmer over Hosmer of the Padres over uh, Muncy of the Dodgers. Uh, second baseman between Cronenworth on the Padres and Gavin Lux of the Dodgers. I'm going to give that to Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux is a it was very high pros, very highly uh, sought after prospect. He has turned out to be very good. He's, he's very young. I think last year was his rookie year, but he had a good season, and I'm taking Lux at second base over Cronenworth. Um, assuming the Dodgers re-sign Turner, um, I'm hoping they do. I think they'd be dumb not to. I got Turner at, at third base versus Machado at third base. I think Machado is good, but I'm taking Turner. Turner is a more classy baseball player. He's just, I think he's a better baseball player and he produces in the playoffs way more. Um, shortstop Seager or Tatis. That is actually super, super tough for me, but at this very moment, I'm taking Seager. Seager, your World Series MVP, producing the playoffs, came up in big spots. Tatis, this young, flashy, uh, going into his third year. Does he have potential? Absolutely. Has he really proved it yet? No. So I'm taking Seager over that. And the outfield between Betts, Pollock, and Bellinger, that's definitely better than Tommy Pham, Trent Grisham, and Will Myers. Will Myers, I will admit, is, is good. Uh, Trent Grisham is, is average. He, he made that mistake with the Brewers in the outfield. He hits occasional home runs, but Trent Grisham, not that good. Tommy Pham, uh, I remember him as a Ray. Uh, he was all right. But the, the Dodgers outfield between A.J. Pollock, A.J. Pollock is like average, but Bellinger and Betts are, are top five outfielders in the league, no doubt. So the point of all this was saying the Padres are pretty damn good, but the Dodgers are pretty damn good plus some. So the Dodgers are a little bit better of a team. Now, baseball, we all know, is a, is a, is a game – that can be won by the better team on any given day, whoever plays better baseball. And the Padres lineup is very, very good. So, yes, absolutely, they can beat this Dodgers team. But when it comes down to it in the playoffs, uh, if they meet in the divisional series again, the Dodgers are just going to be that much better, and they're going to win. They're, they, I'm taking the Dodgers over the Padres simply because their pitching staff is a little bit better and their lineup is a little bit better, which when you have the two big aspects of baseball and you're a little bit better than the other team, if you just do your jobs, you're going to win the game. So absolutely this Padres team can, can certainly steal. I mean, what they're supposed to play, they're playing 18 times this year. Um, the, the Padres can definitely steal some of those games, but I do think the Dodgers are the better team, and that will show when it comes down to it in the playoffs or in big games, whatever. So that's all for the video. Again, Padres are a great team, but the Dodgers, Dodgers are just a little bit better, and I think the Dodgers are going to win the game when it really matters. Um, as far as your question today, the last time the Padres and Dodgers met was last year in the divisional round where the Dodgers swept them three games to nothing. 